Well, no more undefeated handicappers this week, at least, on ParlayHelp.com. Every great run has to come to an end. I mean, if you could just be like 22-0, and 0, they wouldn't call it gambling, right? But still a great record to show for it. And uh, we will talk about that. Game of the year to tell you about. We will talk about that. And day baseball today when you are watching this video. We begin. Partyhelp.com, our July 22nd humped day report. Because I am in full process of moving. And it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Still trying to keep up with the videos the best I can. One of these days, sooner or later, one's going to disappear. But, of course, we'll have our winner of the week and everything else. Do, uh, let's see. Prime Time Sports Advisors, after an 8-0 run, has finally lost a game. And Payne Insider was 2-0 this week. They have lost a game as well. Both games, interesting scenarios. So we don't usually get into people's picks and analysis. But uh, Prime Time had the Mets. The Mets stink. How in the world do you lose two out of three to the Washington Nationals? And Payne took the Twins Athletics under nine. No one would have said that the Oakland A's were going to score 16 runs. So not justifying their plays. I'm just saying no one would have seen those particular circumstances happening or coming the way they did. Pete James at Parlay Pete Sports. ParlayPeteSports.com. Seven and one in games of the year. This is, I believe, his first Major League Baseball game of the year, which I believe is his highest rated, usually around a 40 dime rating. He's usually in the 20s, 10, 20 dime ratings, once in a while, five, but never, never higher than that, except in these game of the year situations, which he is seven and one. I suggest you head over there and take a look at that game of the year. He is very, very solid in those games. Not that he isn't solid in other games, but those particular games, he's seven and one record is a pretty damn good percentage. And I wanted to let you know about that. To today's report, calculated sports picks. It goes one and one, and they are going to give back 75 dimes. LPW Sports Forecast. As they go up and down this week, they go back up today as they go 1-0 and and add 25 to their bankroll. Pete James, the one we were telling you about. Game of the year tomorrow. Goes 2-1 and one on the day. You can add another 14.5 dimes to the bankroll. Remember, the plays are underneath me. I want to hear your feedback. I've heard one negative feedback, two positive feedbacks. I'd like to hear more. Email me, info at partyhealth.com. Pain Insider, VIP handicap for Pain Insider. I told you about his game. He had the Twins Athletics under nine. No one could see Oakland scoring 16 runs today. That is going to cost him 27.5 dimes and his first loss of the week. These guys first lost in eight plays. 8-0 coming into today, and the New York Mets, how do you lose two out of three to a team that's 19 games out of first place? I, I don't know. I actually liked his play because you were getting the Mets plus money. This is why I don't pick games. But still a very good week for the boys over at Primetime Sports Advisors, who are now 3-1 and one on the week and plus 90 units. Sharp Edge play struggled a little bit today. They had two early games, two underplays. Both games went over 0-2 minus 43. Odds Buster is having himself one heck of a week, and I got to get his new banner in here. I have received it. I just, with moving this week, it's going to be tough to really change any of the configurations on the Mac until I get it to where it's, it's new home and it's new desk. Yes, getting a new desk is going to be like a new studio thing. Um, nonetheless, 2-0 and on the day, plus 40 units on the day. That would be oddsbustersports.com. The link is in the chart underneath me. I believe... There's a chance he's going to open the chat room tomorrow night. He's got an interesting concept he wants to do. Um, part A help will not um, do any of the partaking in it, in the sense of he's talking about something everybody puts up $5 and picks two hitters, and the hitter who has the most hits for the week wins the pot. Um, I'm going to let him handle all that. I think it's a neat concept. I think it'll be even, even more fun in football. 
to get the users more involved. I've tried to do a fantasy league for baseball and football. Both have failed miserably. Maybe this will work. I think it'll be good. It's going to be a once a week chat kind of thing. He's going to run the whole spiel. If it happens and you are a registered member of Parlay Help, means you had to use a valid email address. We will email you and let you know the time and the chat room and what's going on. If it happens, I will let you know. This week's winners took the day off. And Mick from Top Shelf Chicago, the Tampa Bay Rays let him down as he had an overplay, 23 to win 20. As um, Interesting day, huh? Day baseball tomorrow. I believe there is three games. So by the time you watch this video, you could already be games underway. I believe first one starts at, uh, I think it's a 105 start. There's a 2 o'clock. I'm not, I'm not sure the exact time. There's three-day baseball games. Trust me on that. It's getaway day. Usually like the stay-away day for some handicappers. Winner of the week, three out of the last four weeks. Finally lost his first game. I was telling you about it on the winner of the week video. It's one of our most watched videos. If you would have jumped on, you would have been up 90 units this week. Like I said, just because he loses one don't mean he's not going to have a great week. He's been dialed in, and these guys have been hot. Today is a getaway day, and then we start new series. We will go from there. Oh, a lot to get done. Another handicapping position for a pro in college football is locked down. These spots are going to go quick. I have warned everyone, if you don't get on board, I apologize. I told you, make the investment in your business. Be with us throughout the entire football season. The chat room is starting to explode. We're starting to put plays up, do a little more of what the users want. I may even try and incorporate a certain record system because people keep asking me they want to see long-term records once i get into my new environment my new dwelling a lot of things are going to change on the site because i'm going to have more time to spend on it especially in august it doesn't look like it's going to be extremely busy as far as dj wedding season is concerned but that could change but we will say the prime goal will be to lock down our sweet 16 for football and this is when users and handicappers come out of the woodwork. So you've been following these guys. You know what these guys have done. These guys have proven track records, so you don't have to be nervous about football. You watch when you see once football season starts, even preseason, they will come out of the woodwork. And they are monitored and documented by who? No one. We'll see everybody tomorrow night after all the games are over.